Hello everybody, Guitar Man 3 yt here, and what you are watching is my process of how I made my fake uh, flame top for my Jackson Charvel project. I used that disc right there, and that right there, to sand all the paint off the front, and there it is right there. And the 320 went over it with 320 also. Now I took a piece of paper, first I drew a line straight down the middle, and I grabbed a piece of paper, I fitted it on there, and I started drawing it on there by looking at a picture of my Charvel. And then the, while I was drawing it on there, it was also leaving an impression in the wood, so when I took the paper off, I was able to, to see what's on there, kind of like tracing. And then I reversed it on the other side to make it the exact same image on the other side to give it the, uh, what do you call it, mirror image, the match top. And then I used permanent marker, and lots of permanent markers to go over it. And right now it looks like a zebra. So what I'm gonna do is take some more 320 sandpaper and sand down each individual line to make it more, look more natural. So it's not so dark black. And here, I'm, that's the dowels I put in for the necks because you know, the neck plate didn't fit right. There's the 320 and sand block that I used. Also use that on the back to dull the paint because I'm gonna repaint the back and the sides. Had to use that scraper to get some of the dowel out to make it smooth. Now there, there's after I sanded it down to try to make it look a little bit more natural. Still a little bit too dark. There's the key to blue powder that I used. There I am being silly with the gloves. Always use these for working with dyes. Always use your gloves before you use work with dyes. Because they will stain your fingers and it's hard to get off. And I put that on there real dark at first and I was going to sand it back in the middle to get the light blue. Just thought it looked pretty cool like that. Just want to see what it looked like with the neck. Here I am starting to sand it down in the middle. But as you can see in here in a minute, it didn't exactly go as planned. The more I tried to sand it to get the light blue, the more the natural wood co color was coming through making it look white and obviously that's not what i wanted so there's my first fail <laughs> so i got mad and just started throwing a bunch of colors together and made a purple but i knew i wasn't going to keep that so here i'm back to the drawing board again sand it all off this time i'm going to go with a little bit different pattern because i didn't think the first pattern looked exactly like my charvel after looking at the picture a lot more that looks more like it right there. So I'm gonna have to redo it with the marker. And there it is. Go through the whole process again. I did this like three times. There and after it's kind of sanding the back. This time I'm going with Rit fabric dye, aquamarine. That's good, that's why I'm light blue. That's what I was looking for the whole time. Now after the light blue dried on there real good, now I'm going back with some more Kita dye to go around the edges. There's a kind of a royal blue. Going around the edges. Then once you get the edges the way you like it, like that, if you don't want that hard line around it, you take just a little bit of water, get you another little piece of fabric, a rag, and dip it in water. And then you can kind of feather, feather it in to the other so you don't have that hard edge. 
You don't want it to look like a stripe going around. It's kind of got to be natural, so you feather it in. You see there's a little stubborn spot right down at the bottom. Doesn't want to hold the stain well. That's because it put so much sanding sealer on there that it soaked down into the wood. And I've I had to re-sand the top a whole lot in that one area right there trying to get all that sanding sealer out of there. And apparently some of it is just stubborn and don't want to get out. So it's hard hard for the stain to penetrate right there on the bottom. I have to keep going over it and over it right there. Right there. Just willing that, that one line right through the middle. I eventually get it but looking at it right now I can see it. I can still see it. Trying to get the same same color pattern as my Charvel. My Charvel had more had more blue on the lower horn than it does on the top horn for some for some reason. So that's why I did it like that. Okay, now I think, I think this is the second time second coat after I let it dry for about an hour. And we want it to be a little bit darker around the very edge. Showing you how these a lot of rags like that. I watched a PRS shop video where it was they're watching a the guy stain one of their guitars, and he took a piece of rag and just wadded it up into a ball like that. And I love PRS can do it, and I can do it like that too. Works great. spot again. Starting to get a little bit darker. After it dries in the sun, it goes away. It doesn't look no, nowhere near as noticeable. Starting to get real dark there on the edges there. But I'll need to take some some water and feather it in, like I just told you. And blocking that area, trying to get that straight line to disappear. Looks a little better.
just the edges right now. Just a little bit darker right there around the edge. There we go. That's kind of after I took the water and kind of feathered it in everywhere. It's like the last three colors go. Super dark blue, a little bit darker, and then light in the middle. Now I'm letting it dry in the sun. Alright, thank you for watching this video. There's, that's the Charvel, that's what I want it to look like. If you like this button, this button. Yeah, if you like this button. If you like this video, hit the like button. And please subscribe if you like what you see. Thank you for watching.